with the most recent update to Grounded, the fully yoked update, guys. Sadly, being the last of the updates that are going to be coming to Grounded, we have gotten all sorts of new weapons that have come to the game for us to check out. Now, one point that we'll point out to you guys is there's going to be a lot of information in here and a lot of spoilers that are going to be in here as well, but let's hop in and let's take a look at all of the new weapons that have come to Grounded, with an exception of one, but we'll get to that in a little bit. So first of all, let's take a look at all the weapons, guys. We have three different weapons that are going to be at the top here. This is going to be the Queen Ant Staff, the Queen Ant Repair Tool, and the Queen Ant Scepter. All of those we will talk about more in detail on why they are different from the rest of these in just a moment. But we also have the Salt Chipper, the Pepper Flake, the Frosted Flake, the Fresh Edge, and the Blazing Edge, the Tingle Tongue, the Sour Katana, the Fresh Cold Tongue, the Breath Slayer, the Pickle Maul, the Wallapeno, the Pucker Thumper, and the Sizzle Striker. These are all of the new weapons that have come to the game, and they are currently lined up in order by the different perks that come with each of these different weapons. Now, to unlock all of these different weapons, guys, you need to do something that's a little bit different. One of the new things that was added to the game, and that is going through and remixing your game or getting into new game plus. If you're looking through your current unlocks in the Burgle Shop or inside of the crafting station and you're not seeing these weapons, it's because you have not gotten into new game plus. That's the only way to unlock these. Once you have done that, you need to go help Burgle back up. He'll give you access to go back over and put your hand onto the analyzer again. That's giving you access to the ASL once again. And when you go in there, you will find all of these weapons under different remix levels as well as a large cost for every single one of these weapons. All of them start at 25,000 raw science per weapon to unlock. Now, none of them are exceptionally difficult in order to craft, honestly. If we come right over here, and I'm just going to go ahead and choose one, say the Pepper Flake, it's a spicy jewel, some green shield bug parts, and D-Duper Jelly. I'll talk about D-Duper Jelly in just a moment, but all of these are going to come at different levels. For instance, if we're talking about Remix Level 1, aka when you have gone into New Game Plus for the first time, what you're going to be able to unlock is the Wallapeno, which is this weapon that's right here, more or less a spicy version of the mint mace right you're also going to unlock the frosted flake which i think is a fantastic looking weapon you're going to unlock the breath slayer which is this sword that's right here it looks like the dragonfly slayer that we were talking about way back when i first started doing grounded videos and finally guys you unlock the burgle flipper as well but that is the weapon that we're not going to be talking about today because that is a whole different category of weapon that we'll talk about in another video so after you've gone through and you've unlocked all of those, you can do Remix Level 2. This involves you beating the game once again, beating those bosses once again, and then going in and doing New Game Plus again. This is going to unlock Remix Level 2. When you do that, you unlock the Blazing Edge. You unlock the Pepper Flake. You unlock the Pucker Thumper, which is this guy that's right here. And you unlock the Tingle Tongue, which, like I said earlier, is probably one of my favorite looking weapons in the game. It reminds me of of the glass sword from Elder Scrolls Morrowind or Oblivion. I still like that weapon look today. And all in all, this is probably one of my favorite looking weapons that I've added to the game. Now, once you've gone through and you've unlocked all of those as well, and you're like, well, I still want to get to the rest of these guys, you got to get into Remix Level 3, which means once again beating the game, which means once again beating those bosses, and then going through and unlocking the final set of weapons, which is going to be the rest of these weapons, except for with a different way to unlock all these Queen Ant weapons, which can be unlocked without remixing your game at all. But what you're going to be unlocking, guys, is going to be the Fresh Edge, which is right here. You're going to be unlocking the civil, the Sizzle Striker, which is the m spicy version of the Mint Mallet. You're going to be unlocking the Pickle Maul, which is this guy, which just looks like a generalized sledgehammer in my mind. And you're going to be unlocking the Salt Chipper, which is this guy that's right up here. 
So you unlock that as well as finally the Sour Katana. But anyway, that's how you go through and you unlock all of those different weapons for you to use in the game. All of them start at 25,000 raw science apiece. None of them are particularly difficult to unlock, but let's talk a little bit about perks that they give you. So first of all, the Salt Chipper itself. This one stands alone. It gives you Finale Bleed. Finale Bleed, on your third hit, you inflict bleed. It's not all that impressive, but you guys know how much I like bleed in these games, so it probably is gonna be pretty awesome if you like bleeding weapons. The second row that we have here that starts with the Pepper Flake, more or less what all categorize as the axe type weapons. They give you Finale Fury. Finale Fury goes through, and on your third hit of your three hit combo, it increases your attack speed for a short duration. So your next, so more or less, is gonna be you're going through and speeding up as you're attacking an enemy, as long as you're being relentless and constantly causing those attacks. The sword variant of all of our new weapons, which by the way, all these are falling into two-handed categories. This one is going to be the Finale Parry. Finale Parry, the final hit of your three hit combo slightly increases your perfect block window. And when you perfect block while this buff is active, it significantly increases your damage on your next attack. So meaning it's meant for those three hit combos, one, two, three, block perfectly, come back and do another three hit damage combo, but you're gonna be doing significantly more damage every single time you parry after that three hit combo. Okay, and then finally, last but not least, we have the, say, the hammer or mace-style-esque weapons here, guys. The Pickle Mall, the Wallapeno, all of those. That's going to give you Finale Aftershock. And on your third hit, you're going to do an AoE Shockwave, a.k.a. causing damage to anything around your character. So keep that in mind if you guys are going to be going out and using any of these new weapons that you unlock by going through and doing the remixing stations and doing that, that's how you're gonna get these, that's the different perks you're gonna get for using them, but find whatever weapon works for you guys and make it your own and learn to love it. Now, we do have a whole nother section to go through and that is the Queen Ant parts, okay? The Queen Ant parts are lined up here by being fire, the Red Ant, Black Ant, and then Fire Ant unlockables. Each of these are going to need the different parts of the Queen Ants, and that is going to be their pheromones. So let's start with the Queen Ant Scepter, guys. You're going to need the Red Ant, Queen Ant pheromone. You get this by feeding them the friendly snack to them, and they will give you a pheromone that you can use in order to build these weapons. Now, the Queen Ant Scepter is the only one-handed melee weapon that you get from the newest update, okay? It's a little bit of a bummer, but it is what it is. It's the only one-handed weapon that you unlock besides the Burgo Flipper, but we'll talk about that a little bit later on. This weapon for you is going to be used to do a couple different things. The perks that come with this are going to be increasing the summon HP, AKA the ants that are gonna to come to help you when using this weapon, or say your spiderlings that you're going to have come out to help you while using this weapon. It's gonna increase their overall HP. And once you get this thing over level five, it's also going to increase your attack speed, okay? Even going through and upgrading this guy all the way to level 6, you can see the damage on it is not very good. I like the way it jiggles, don't get me wrong, but the damage is not there. Even if we were to go through and upgrade this thing all the way up using fusion crystals, getting the damage up to 215%, guys, what you'll see is that damage number is still significantly lower. This is because you are not meant to do damage on your own. It's all about the summons here, guys. That's what this weapon is for. Now, moving on from the red ant, which is how you unlock this weapon by getting its pheromone, we can move on to the queen ant repair tool. This repair tool is amazing. I left this till the end because it's not really a weapon. It's an exceptional tool capable of repairing buildings in a radius around you whenever you're using it. But it requires a black ant queen pheromone in order to make this tool, but it's pretty damn impressive when you go through and make it. So that one's out there. It's not a weapon, but it's still cool. And finally, everybody's favorite, a staff. Yes, we have a staff that has been added to the game. It is the Queen Ant Staff. It shoots acidic goo at your enemies. And when it gets to level 15, its damage is all the way up. And it fires actually really, 
really fast. It doesn't do as much damage as say like the frost staff because that's like a constant barrage of frost. But this one, when you hold it down, it doesn't do a powerful shot. It just shoots one at a time that will also do damage over time because it applies an acidic effect onto the enemy. So it is our fourth staff that we've been waiting for. It was not a salt staff that we ended up getting. Instead, it was an acid staff that we got instead. For this one, you will need a fire ant queen pheromone in order to make but I still think it's worth you going through and getting that. Now, in order to unlock those pheromones, guys, you will need to go through and use the raw science shop in order to buy the new recipes in order to make the tasty treats for each of the different queens and then find them inside of their lairs without their brood trying to kill you for getting too close to their queen. But guys, that is all of the new weaponry that's come to Grounded, guys. I am excited. I think this has added all sorts of different versatility. For those of you who really like to use axes or swords in this game, you now don't have to rely on using those jewels in order to change around, say, like a brood mother club and make it fresh or spicy or anything like that, you now can use whatever weapon type you want with the different types of damage that you have on them. And finally, getting another salt weapon, which I think in itself is pretty cool that we have something other than just the Salt Morning Star now. But guys, that's all the weapons. Like I said, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure you guys hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment down below if you guys are looking for even more grounded tips and tricks and or tutorials or how-to videos. Let me know what you guys are looking for in the comment section below. But thank you guys so much. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in the next one.